Well, open to the public and free of charge, Craig Coffee has found a hidden gem that's sure to drive your interest. This morning, he joins us by the Broadmoor with a classic collection that's even fit for a president. Thanks a lot. Yeah, we're here so far learning so much this morning at this museum, the hidden gem right by the Broadmoor. You got to come by and uh, check it out. The best part it is for free with us. As always, you know him, you love him. This is Jason Crash Campbell as we get set for the big Pikes Peak International Hill Climb. That race dates back to a long time. We already saw a couple of the original race cars and, and we're talking back to like the 19 what? 1916. 1916. Yeah, yeah Spencer Penrose built the auto toll road to the top of Pikes Peak in 1916 started the race. It's the second oldest sanctioned auto race in the United States next okay. to the Indy 500. Okay, also the El Pomar Foundation now set up this museum and they're the ones that have collected all of these vehicles and carriages. Actually, it was Spencer and Julie Penrose who collected all these. A lot of these once belonged to friends and business partners of okay. the Penroses. And uh, yes, the El Pomar Foundation, just wonderful. This is our seventh year in this building. The first museum was built in 1941. It was actually Julie Penrose's idea. Okay, uh, so let's talk now about a couple of other unique artifacts you have here. Actually, two presidential carriages. Correct. Tell us about this one now right behind us. This one here is a Sea Spring Victoria. It dates 1862. Uh, it's made by Brewster out of New York City. And Brewster was like the top American carriage manufacturing. Uh, this belonged to Chester Allen Arthur, our 21st president. Now, see, I, <laughs> forgive me, I would not know that. <laughs> well, he was president from 1881 to 1885. Okay. Uh, his claim to fame is he helped dedicate the Brooklyn Bridge and he did away with polygamy. Oh, okay. Well, good for him. <laughs> uh, his son moved here, Chester II, and that's how we got this because Chester II became good friends with Mr. Penrose. Okay. Uh, became the first president of the famed Penrose Cooking Club. Now, when would he use this carriage? Uh, Chester and Arthur used it in 1881 to 1885. This was in the inaugural parade uh, and uh, was actually used probably up until about, oh, 1900. Okay. Wow, that is amazing here. We have more to talk about here, other unique uh, carriages and vehicles. We'll get to that coming up in just a little while. Once again, uh, Jason Crash Campbell, thank you so much for your time. Uh, by the way, you are a former race car driver, right? Yeah, just uh, SCCA Pro Rally, okay. and uh, I had a hard time keeping the rubber side down and shiny side up. So. That's why they call him Crash Campbell. Okay, more coming up in just a bit. Back to you guys. Ah, love it. How fun is that?